It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary. So the sweetest girl I know goes by Piccadilly. During World War I, as in many wars before and since, medals were awarded for bravery. For the British, the Victoria Cross or VC was the highest award for bravery. The VC was awarded 628 times to 627 recipients for action in the First World War. Noel Godfrey Chavez was awarded the Victoria Cross and Bar for two separate actions in the First World War. Firstly, at the Battle of Marmets and secondly at Passchendaele. He died from wounds received in the second action. Eight South Africans won the VC in World War I. Andrew Burkamp Proctor, William Blomfeld, William Falls, Reginald Haywood, William Hewitt, Ozzel Reed, Clement Robertson and John Kelly. The Germans awarded the Iron Cross for bravery. The World War I Iron Cross had three classes. Iron Cross 2nd Class, Iron Cross 1st Class, and Grand Cross of the Iron Cross. Although the medals were identical, each was worn in a different manner. The Grand Cross of the Iron Cross was awarded only twice. First to General Feldmarschall Gebrand Lebrecht von Luchner in 1813, and to General Feldmarschall Paul von Hindenburg in 1918. The Paul known informally as the Blue Max, was the German Kingdom of Prussia's highest order of merit. Fifty were awarded during World War I, 21 to the Air Force, 19 to the Army and 10 to the Navy. Notable winners of the Blue Max during the First World War included Hermann Göring, who would go on to become head of the Luftwaffe in World War II, Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron, Ernest Udet, who became the Luftwaffe's highest ace during World War II, and Erwin Rommel, who would later become famous in World War II as the Desert Fox. The Legion of Honor was France's highest award for bravery. 55,000 were awarded during World War I. The Medal of Honor was America's highest award for bravery. Although the Americans only entered towards the end of the war, 119 men won the Medal of Honor for their actions in World War I. 33 of them posthumously. 90 from the Army, 21 from the Navy, and eight from the Marine Corps.